The NFL Draft is just a month away, and there are some question marks as to where the top quarterback prospects are going to be heading. As of right now, here are where things stands. At number one, there's almost a consensus agreement, and it's pretty much Caleb Williams from USC. Right now, he's the favorite to go number one overall to the Chicago Bears, and things are not going to be changing, especially since the team just traded away Justin Fields to the Pittsburgh Steelers. And bearing any drastic changes, it seems like Caleb Williams will be a Chicago Bear. Now, going to the next quarter, back it's Jaden Daniels coming from LSU and during this draft process he is moving up in the rankings as he is now viewed as the second best quarterback in this class and right now he's the favorite to go second overall to the Washington Commanders and of course the Commanders they would love to get Caleb Williams but there is a slim to none chance that he will be going number two overall as the Commanders just hired Cliff Kingsbury to be their offensive coordinator who has previous connections with Caleb Williams when the two used to be at USC so as of right now it seems to be a consensus agreement for the most part, Caleb Williams going number one overall to the Chicago Bears and Jaden Daniels going second overall to the Washington Commanders. Now, this is where things get very interesting. Currently, the third team in the draft is the New England Patriots. And as of right now, Drake May is viewed as the third best quarterback. However, he is slowly trending in the opposite direction. Throughout the regular season, it seemed to be him and Caleb Williams as 1A and 1B. But unfortunately for Drake May, he had a down year compared to his previous year of 2022. And he is slowly moving down the rankings and combine the fact that jd daniels had a historic year in 2023 with lsu winning the heisman trophy and jj mccarthy leading michigan to the national championship teams are starting to sour on drake may so currently there's no clear favor as to who's going number three overall now here's where things get interesting right now the team that is trying to desperately trade up into the top five if not top three is the minnesota vikings and they obviously need a quarterback after kirk cousins left free agency and knowing the current environment that they are in especially the offense that they have outside of the quarterback position they are trying to trade up hard they just gave up multiple second round picks in order to get an additional first round pick so it seems like they have previously talked to the top five teams in order to understand what they will need and whatever it takes to move up in the draft and the vikings they are very high on drake may they just hired Josh Josh McCowns to be their quarterback's coach who used to coach Drake May back when he was in high school and apparently he along with Sam Darnold who just signed with the Vikings they used to scout Drake May back when he was in high school so the fact that both guys are in Minnesota seems to be a clear indication as to which quarterback they're going after and ultimately I do believe that will happen the Vikings will make the trade up even though the Patriots do need a quarterback but their offense overall is horrendous they do not have much talent to support the starting quarterback so it seems like the Vikings will do whatever it takes in order to move up third overall and ultimately the Patriots will accumulate draft picks and eventually use the rest of the picks on offensive line and receivers in order to help out their future quarterback whichever pick they use on whether it's this year or next year. Now the next quarterback to go through is JJ McCarthy. He seems to be the most intriguing option because of where he might end up. Right now he is just moving up the draft boards. Initially he was viewed as a late first round pick early second but apparently the league is way higher on him compared to the media, which explains why he is shooting up in draft boards. Right now, he is viewed to go inside the top 10 as high as number four, depending on what the Vikings do. And right now, it seems like he's either gonna go to three teams, the Vikings, the Denver Broncos, or the New York Giants. The Vikings in part because they, of course, need a quarterback since Kirk Cousins moved on. Same thing with the Broncos. They just moved on from Russell Wilson and they are very high on JJ McCarthy, but they will likely not make that move because they don't have much draft capital. And if the Vikings do go after Drake May, it just pretty much leaves the New York Giants as the team to be. And that's the ultimate prediction. JJ McCarthy will end up going to the New York Giants. And despite having Daniel Jones on a long-term contract, the current regime did not draft Daniel Jones. So they necessarily do not have the ties to keep him long-term if they do think so. Now, the next quarterback to go through is Bo Nix. Currently, he is viewed to go within the mid or late first round pick. But right now, he seems to be the favorite to go to the Denver Broncos, which makes sense based on his playing style and Sean Payton on what he wants from his quarterback. He likes an accurate and efficient quarterback pretty much a field general and that's the strength of Bo Nix and Denver they don't have any long-term options so it seems pretty likely that Bo Nix will be going to Denver now the last quarterback to go through is Michael Penix it seems to be unlikely that he will be going in the first round mainly because of his medical history and his age 
so there's a good chance he will be going in the second round and there are two teams that are in need of quarterback the new england patriots and the las vegas raiders now if Penix does drop into the second round the patriots do have a higher draft pick and it will not be surprising to see knowing that they have extra draft capital if they do make that trade with the minnesota vikings they will likely use that extra draft capital and just draft a quarterback in the second round and that could be the case of michael Penix. and those are the predictions of where the top quarterbacks will be heading let me know what you guys think down below and that's all for now you guys make sure to like the video subscribe to the channel and share with others as i'll see you guys next time